Hey folks, I wanted to do a quick video and chuck this in and talk about embedding for just a moment. I apologise for the sound, as you can see I'm in a car here, just in a car park, waiting on somebody and I thought I would just chuck this video out. It turns out that loop back can do embedding, you can do that. Uh, so what I'm talking about is where you end up with a structure on your database that maybe looks something like this, okay? And when you look at the documentations, yes, this embed feature is available and you can look that up and all the rest of it. Just so you know, my advice is don't use it. Don't bother with any of that embeds, many embeds all or anything like that. Now, it's highly probable that somebody could appear and tell me otherwise. It's highly probable that I could change my mind about this in two minutes time. But right now, based on the testing that I have done, it's a mugs game and you end up with all sorts of uh, problems and you know stack errors and all sorts of things. Uh, just look up the amount of problems that people have when they try embedding. So I wanted to do a very quick video and just clarify how I see embedding working, okay? So let's uh, bring up the terminal here. And I'm going to do the classic example, I think, of authors and books, okay? So I'm just going to say LB model and I'll create a model called author, okay? So here we go. So the model name is going to be, whoop, it's going to be author and uh, all of the standard stuff, expose via the rest, uh, return, common, and property name, I'll say name, and that's a string, not required, no default value, and we'll end it there, right? So I've created a model called author. Now I'm gonna say LB model, and I'm gonna create a model, and I do apologize for this sound, I'm gonna create a model called book, okay? So uh, again, uses Mongo, exposed, all of the usual stuff, uh, no surprises. Property name, I'll say title, and let's have title as a string. Let's make that required, blank, and so on. Um, and that's us. Okay, so we've got two very, very simple models. Uh, I was actually going to do date published, but my fingers were going too quick. Anyway, these are now, let's just look at the screen, right? <laughs> right, so now we have author and book. Remember, folks, these are two entirely independent models that do not know anything about each other, okay? So to get the embedding vibe working, this is how you would do it. And we've gone over this before, but it's probably worth saying again, okay? So... The vibe would be, we would say LB relation, and then we set up our relation. And I think you're best doing this two ways. So we'll do one that's from author, and the author has many books. Uh, we'll hit return. It will come up with a property name. Hit return on custom foreign key. Require a through model, no, uh, no again. All of the recommended stuff, disable the relation, no. All of the recommended stuff, no surprises. We then do LB relation again. This time, we do the other side of the fence, which is book, and book belongs to author. We hit return, we hit return, we do all of the standard recommendations, and then we start up our server again. So now, these two models know about each other. It's the most basic example possible. But if I hit refresh here, and if we have a look at author, you'll see as we scroll down that there's now a whole bunch of options here that are to do with books, okay? Now I'm gonna create an author. Let's just do that, okay? And uh, we'll just say that the name of this author is Charles Dickens, okay, and I'll say try it out. No surprises, everything works fantastically well, okay. Now, we can, in fact, create a, another instance here which adds a book. Let me just show you. Um, 
if I go get authors, right, and I'm going to say try it out. Okay, so here is the ID for Charles Dickens. I'm going to copy that. And we can, just so you can see what's happening, if we go to book and say post, um, you'll see that there's an author ID field in here. Can you see that? It has added an author ID, which is fantastic, Ola. We can do that from the book model, which is fine. But did you know we can also do that from the author model as well? So, as you can see, I can say title, and I can say something like um, Great Expectations, and the author ID would be Charles Dickens, that's his ID, I'm going to say try it out, oh Jiminy, pardon me, author ID up here, um, we need to add it twice, okay, so once up here, once here, we say try it out, Everything looks good. Everything looks normal. Now, that's me just added a book. Stay ahead of this, folks. I've added a book, but from the author model. This is key. Now, I'm going to do exactly the same thing, but from the book model, okay? Two ways of doing exactly the same thing. So, again, let's, um, let's add a, a, another title in here. So, uh, let's add a tale of... Two Cities, okay, another classic Dickens novel. We'll chuck in the author ID, which is Charles Dickens, and we'll say try it out, okay? Again, no surprises, everything works fine. Folks, we have just created a book record. One way from the author model, another way from the book model, but both do exactly the same thing. Now, let's talk about embedding, okay? I was saying that I don't recommend using any of the embed stuff with Lookback. As far as I can tell, it's full of bugs. And to be entirely honest, I think it's poorly documented. And I don't even think we need it. Because if we go to author and we go get, okay? It's a normal get off author thing. Now, if we just try it out, you'll see Charles Dickens. No surprises. We only have one author, right? However, if we then go in here and say include. Now, by the way, if you look at your uh, files here and you look at author.json, you'll see that this relation is called books, okay? That's the name of the relation. So I'm going to say include books like that. I'm making it into a nice uh, JSON format. I'm going to say try it out and look at this. Behold, we have a fantastic embedded JSON structure, which is exactly and precisely what we would have hoped for. Notice, no embed bullshit. No running about and worrying that it's not capable of doing counts and all the rest of it. And another key point to notice is that we never, when we were setting up the models, we never set up author re refs or book reference IDs or anything like that we let look back handle the whole thing. So that is how I would deal with embedded documents, just so you know.